Hey guys, it's Dave here from the Market Board. I've always said there's never been free money in the stock market. You've always had to pay attention. With that in mind, we're going to take a look today at Camping World Holdings stock ticker CWH. So let's get right to it. In March of 2020, the world was forever changed when a plethora of states and local governments had issued stay-at-home and shelter-in-place restrictions, causing sales and traffic levels across the RV industry to decline significantly, leading to a 44.6% decrease in wholesale shipments of new RVs in just the first three months. With restrictions now being lifted, is it the time to take another look at Camping World Holdings? Camping World Holdings Inc., together with its subsidiaries, is America's largest retailer of recreational RVs and related products and services serving RV consumers since 1966. They operate their business underneath two distinct business segments, Good Sam Services and Plans, and the second one being their RV and outdoor retail segment. Before we take a look at their products though, let's just take a quick outlook at the business strategy outlined in their most recent annual report. Camping World Holdings believes that they can offer a unique and comprehensive assortment of RV products and services. They can operate a national network of RV dealerships and service centers. They focus on customer service, leveraging resources and synergy, and they believe the integration of these four factors will actually allow them to become the stewards of RV lifestyle. In order to do that though, they will face some really tough competition in the likes of other RV dealers selling new and used RVs, major insurance and warranty companies, warehouse clubs and discount stores, as well as RV furniture assemblers. Currently, they are trading just underneath $41.5 a share, representing a market capitalization of $3.72 billion, and to sprinkle in a fun few little metrics, they have a price to earnings ratio south of nine and a price to sales ratio under 0.65. But before moving forward, I'd like to just remind you to subscribe to the channel and roast me down in the comments below. I'm of the belief as an investor that you need to know what you're actually investing into. I wouldn't buy a house off a whim from the internet and a stock will be absolutely no different. Let's do a small investigation into Camping World Holdings to see if it's a worthwhile investment to add to our portfolio. According to their most recent annual report, they offer broad offerings allowing them to target their customer needs with products and services focused towards recurring revenue installed base revenue and first time buyers. Contributions for recurring revenue include Good Sam, RV financing and RV insurance products. For installed base revenues, it includes new and used RV sales, RV product sales, RV maintenance and service, as well as renovations. And for the first time buyers, they generate revenue through additional new and used RV sales, Good Sam, as well as any additional online or retail sales. Now let's take the time to break down the first two of the business segments, Good Sam Services and Plans. First off, they offer extended vehicle service contracts covering the parts, labor, and repairs of RVs as well as autos, pickup trucks, and sports utility vehicles. Next component would be the roadside assistant plan, which allows users to receive towing, jump start, tire changes, and mobile mechanics. They additionally offer property and casualty insurance programs for insurance for RVs and other types of vehicles as well as home insurance actually. They offer travel assist travel protection designed to assist travelers with medical emergency situations including, but not limited to, 24-7 coverage for emergency medical evacuation return home services or even emergency medical monitoring. And the final component of this side of the business would be the Good Sam Consumer Shows designed to promote and sell RV and outdoor lifestyle and related products and services. These shows provide a strategic opportunity to expose first-time buyers as well as existing RV and outdoor sports enthusiasts to their products and services available. On the retail side of the business though, the primary factor contributing to revenue are new and used vehicle sales. New vehicle sales represent about 50% of total revenue, while used vehicle sales make up about 18% of total revenue. They offer vehicle financing in terms up to 20 years, which if that seems like a pretty long time, that's because it's two decades. Additionally, they offer outdoor products and accessories, including equipment, gear, and supplies, all for camping, hunting, fishing, skiing, snowboarding, bicycling, skateboarding, marine, water sports, and other outdoor activities. With the final component of the retail side of the business actually being the Good Sam Club, the literal membership organization that offers savings on a variety of products and services and is considered to be the largest membership based RV enthusiast organization in the world with over 2.1 million active users. And additionally, the company does operate under a few different brand names including Good Sam, Camping World, Gander Outdoors, Gander RV, and Overton's. 
Camping World Holdings, by all means, needs to be considered a seasonal business which comes with obvious headaches and challenges before this little thing called COVID happened. So how well has their management team pivoted from the crisis into a profit? Surprisingly well, actually. Starting with their revenues, in 2018, Camping World Holdings reported a gross revenue of about $4.8 billion, growing 2% in 2019 to about $4.9 billion, before in 2020 it grew a staggering 11% that's double-digit gains to $5.5 billion in revenue. In that same time period, we compared the cost of revenues in 2018, which were reportedly about $3.4 billion, which grew 5.1% in 2019 to 3.6 billion dollars before 2020 it only grew 3.86 percent to 3.744 billion dollars well what does this mean that means in 2018 they reported a gross profit of 1.36 billion dollars which fell slightly in 2019 to 1.287 billion dollars but it did jump ahead due to the increased revenue in 2020 to an astonishing 32 percent growth to 1.7 billion dollars gross profit now evidently camping world has such a strong business model that they didn't shrink during the pandemic they actually grew to despite global hardships. Which would bring us to our next question, which would be, how strongly does smart money feel about it? The top holder would appear to be Abrams Capital Management with over 11% outstanding ownership. Next up would be the Vanguard Group with 9.73%, Wasatch Advisors at 6.8%, BlackRock comes out to about 6.5%, and the fifth largest holder would appear to be Crestview Partners with about 5% total ownership, bringing total toot ownership to over 80%, believe it or not. Let's just take a quick moment to recap this data and to organize it with some SWOT analysis to measure the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that we may face as potential investors into Camping World Holdings. Starting with strengths, they have strong customer satisfaction with great retention and recurring revenue streams. They have growing revenues and gross margin growth last year, and they have a diverse revenue stream within the RV industry. But they do have weaknesses, including their success has been limited to their core business. They may need to invest in improved technologies as they have a lower R&D count than most of the other RV companies, as well as they have no true signs of disruption or innovation. But that doesn't mean there aren't great opportunities still within the industry as they may capitalize on new trends in consumer behavior as well as the numerous cross-selling opportunities selling brands to good SAM members and who knows they may actually end up making developments into electric vehicles. But there are many threats facing the business and it would not be an honest approach if we did not at least discuss them including increased competition over the past two years alone. Additionally we have to ask is this part of the new normal where people buy an increased amount of RVs? Or is it likely just the aberrant behavior of being locked up for a full year that people needed their own mobile home? And finally, inflation is on all of our minds because it may limit financing opportunities coming from historical lows to what most likely will be an increase in rates. But this brings us now to our conclusion and to my favorite part, my take and my position. In my position, full disclosure is no position, but I have added it to my watch list. I believe Camping World Holdings may present potential investors with an entry point into the recreational vehicle scene or perhaps just even into a summertime swing play. On the one hand, you have America's largest retailer of recreational RVs and related products and services since the 60s. However, on the other hand, you do have a company that experienced rather strange growth in a, a niche industry that will have to prove its performance is an accumulation of hard work and successful marketing and not that of aberrant consumer behavior during an unprecedented time. Overall though, I would say that they do post stronger margins than I had anticipated and for that reason alone it actually has me very, very intrigued. Whereas I don't believe we are going to experience another wave of van life type individuals or even increased popularity, I do believe that RVs could benefit from all the hermits leaving their shells this summer and perhaps they'll stay outside even into the autumn. But guys, just as one final reminder, I am an individual investor, I am not a financial advisor. This should not be considered financial advice. My name is Dave and this has been The Market Board.